G'day guys, Greg here. Well, I was recently at this like uh, food area, which has got like a KFC and a Carl's Jr. and a McDonald's. And well, I, I tried the, the uh, Carl's Jr. and well, <laughs> you'll have to watch that video. I think that the burger was okay, but it looked like it had been run over by a truck. But also here, they've got an Origin Kebab. And one of my subscribers suggested that I come here and try the Origin Kebabs. But it also says Origin Kebabs Burgers Grill Pied. And I was like, what? What's that even mean? I don't know what a grill pied is. And well, you know what? We all know what a kebab is, but I was really interested to see what sort of burgers Origin Kebabs does. So I'm gonna whip in and grab a Origin Kebab burger and well, give me the old taste there, so I'll give it a score out of 10. Let's do it. Alrighty, well, here we go. My Origin Kebab Burger. I actually got the mixed burger. I could get lamb or chicken, but I got the lamb and chicken. And, well, here it is. Let's take a look. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Well, I mean, have a look at that. It's a decent size. It's got a nice bun there, which has been beautifully toasted. Oh, wow. So we got some, uh, like, some lettuce there, uh, onions, there's tomato, and we got some carrot as well. And then I got some of the meat under there, and then the bun. So he asked me what sauce I wanted. I said uh, the, the garlic yogurt and some sour cream. So that's what I got on it. So it's just like a, a kebab in a bun, basically. And this costs $9.90. Alrighty, well, I mean, the bread here just looks like the normal sort of bread. It could be Turkish. Who knows? Okay, well, let's dive in. It looks like it's going to be a messy burger, so I've dropped the towel down. And let's get started. Man, it's pretty big. That's what she said. $9.90. Ah. Oh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It pretty much just tastes like a kebab, too. Mmm. And I think that that bread roll is like a Turkish style. But the uh, meat inside tastes really nice. That chicken and the lamb. The sauces weren't a lot, but it's nice and subtle, the taste. Mmm. It just tastes like a kebab. I haven't had a kebab oh. Oh, since I was, uh, well, for a long time anyway. I used to always get them walking home, or more to the point, staggering home. You know what I mean? Yep, staggering home, whip in, grab yourself a kebab on the way home from a big night. Mate, you'd always wake up feeling like a million percent the next day, didn't you? Well, I know I did. But this is pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. That toasted bun's got some nice crunch about it. And you can taste the blend of all the things inside. Now, all the ingredients that were on this were pretty much the stock standard. He said it comes with lettuce, tomato, onion, carrot. And did I want any other extras on it? And I said, nah, just give me the stock standard, I said. And, well, this is the stock standard. Tell you what, it's as messy as anything. The mouse in my car, well, let's hope he likes Turkish food because, well, he's going to be eating it for a while, that's for sure. There's enough of it falling off, but pretty messy. But, you know, it just tastes like a kebab except with a Turkish bread. And I found out what a pied is. It's actually pronounced pide. And it's like a Turkish bread that's in the shape of a canoe and they fill it up, sort of like a pizza. So this is probably the, the hamburger version of that. And it's a hamburger version of a kebab as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. If you like kebabs, of course.
if you don't like kebabs, you probably won't like this. But it is definitely a kebab taste and a kebab look as well. And of course you can get a whole different bunch of sauces as well. I just chose the ones that were more kebabby, I thought. The garlic yogurt and, oh, you know what? I should have got some chili sauce as well. That would have been awesome. Ah, next time. Yeah, some chili sauce on this would have gone down. Absolute treat. Mm-mm. Ah. Oh. Mm. Now, it's actually pretty big as well. I mean, that's three bites in, and I'm not even halfway through it. So, this could easily be a, a seven uh, to eight or nine bite burger. Ten bucks, you know, that's a dollar something a bite. Huh. Is it worth a dollar something a bite? Well. <laughs> I don't think anything is really, is it? Now, I'm not really that hungry. And, well, this has sort of filled me up and it's only halfway through. But, well, the best thing about this is that I could probably microwave this later on. Or stick it back in this little foam container and take it home and have it later on. Perfect! That's like two meals for the price of one! Well, let's try some of this meat. Here's the chicken. Mm. Garlicky, That's, which is probably the sauce. And here's a bit of the lamb. Mmm. A little fatty and a little chewy, but kebabby. I do like kebabby. But I think I've had enough of this now to know what score I'm going to give it. Out of 10. Price wise, $10 for this. <laughs> Well, I mean, every other thing is like 10 bucks anyway, and well, this is actually quite filling, and I dare say would pretty much fill you up. It's quite a good size and a, and a good feed. But uh, flavor-wise, well, it does taste like a kebab, and if you're not into kebabs, you probably won't be into this. The flavor of it's okay. Now, uh, the bread on the outside gives it uh, a nice sort of flavor, and it's nicely crunchy and toasted, and... Well, I mean, the flavour's alright as well. It's not, like, great or fantastic. I wouldn't be, like, sending postcards out to people, like, suggesting that they rush on down to Origin Kebabs to get one, but, you know, it's, it's kind of, I guess, what I expected it to taste like. Although I really wasn't sure what sort of burgers they did. But now we all know it's just your stock standard, like, kebab that's in a bun. But for an all over value, all over flavor, all over taste, all over everything score for this Origin Kebab Burger, I, the one I got mixed, I'm gonna give it a... Ah, a 6.2 out of 10. You know, it does taste like a kebab, but it doesn't taste as good as a kebab. It's a good size, and the price is, you know, yeah. I could have got a kebab for the same price. I think I probably would have preferred getting a kebab and having something, you know, easier to hold in my hand and easier to eat. But I mean, it, it tastes okay. It has got that, like, kebab taste and the kebab flavor. But as far as a burger goes, you know, it's it's probably better, you're, you're probably better off just getting a kebab. It's about the same price and you probably might even get a bit more fillings in it, although, I mean, this has got some good weight, and I mean, it's, it, it tastes okay, but it doesn't taste great. And maybe if I'd put some chili sauce on it, it'd probably taste better, but I mean, it, it, it's okay, but it's not great. And would I come back and get another one of these again? Well, actually, probably no, I probably wouldn't. I think I would definitely go to the kebab, which I think I'll have to try next time. But all together, it's, it's not like something that you would go and tell your mates you've got to try. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time i review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the review